getting this breakfast on for these champions right here. Spinach, eggs, onions, ham. pepper, ham. I mean turkey. Turkey. Peyton don't eat. I'm gonna put them in the trap fire for a few minutes. <laughs> Breakfast burritos. Heck yeah, Rob, you did that. And Caleb did too. Baby. Right. Breakfast burrito. Mm-hmm. My boys did it up. We're 13.4 miles away from uh, getting on our bikes, starting this journey, 83 miles. And Caitlin, we have, we're under the impression that she's stalling. She's taking her time. She's walking around, going to the bathroom. Here she comes. Shh, shh. Coming up with excuses. Coming up with excuses. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Shh, shh. Shh. Hey, baby. Hey. Oh, Where's your energy drink? The camera's rolling. That's why you're being nice. We was just discussing about how we think that uh, you're stalling. Why you spilling the beans, man? No, so, uh, okay, so I packed the cooler and somebody Why locked the water. The <laughs> somebody locked the water in the camper, so I had to pull water out from the back of the truck. Then. You so I moved door? the food over. I had to get all that done, get the ice Did you take, while, the door? while somebody else was using the bathroom and getting their coffee. So what do I do after I get done? I go use the bathroom what do you do right and now? try to get my coffee. Stalin. God is with you every day. June 22nd. My mama's birthday. Oh, happy birthday, mama. Is it? I'm gonna call her as soon as we get going. We need to make, we all need to call her. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, the one who hears the prayer. And when you pray, don't be like those people who don't know God. They continue saying things that mean nothing, thinking that God will hear them because of their many words. Matthew 6, 7, that's what I was talking about okay. the other day. And it's going to be to lift up the name of Jesus. But it's going to be the great feat that you guys took on. You know what I mean? And I just feel that. For, for serious, man. So uh, that's that's really cool. You guys are a part of something bigger than you know. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Robbie. Thank you, and Hannah. Hannah. We love, love you guys. You. <laughs> we're looking at flashing lights right now, the Canadian border. So we're going to drive up and and get turned away because none of us have passports. But we're going to do <laughs> we're going to do a Facebook live anyways. And oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. we'll, we'll tune in. All right, guys. Love you guys. We love you guys. So much. Thank you. Bye. Heavenly Father, Lord, I just come to you today and thank you for giving us the opportunity to be able to to climb such a mountain, Father. I know you're going to be with us, Lord, so just give us protection throughout the day, Lord. Give our crew protection. Protect our vehicle and our camper and our dogs, Lord. I just pray that, you know, you provide us areas for them to be able to pull in safely and nobody comes to harm us, Lord. Father, just give us strength throughout the day so that we're able to carry out your will. Be with us whenever times get tough, Lord, and just uh, speak life over each and every single one of us and our families, Lord. Continue to watch after them, Lord. And I just thank you again. Thank you for giving us this opportunity, Lord. Thank you for recovery. Thank you for the things that you do for us in our lives. And, and because without, without that, we would not be here today, Father. So I thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray that you just uh, just bless us today with supernatural endurance, strength, focus. Um, Father, I pray that you just give the everybody here on the road eyes to see us, Lord. Just help us to, uh, to help them. Um, just highlight us to them, Lord. And, and I pray that you just uh, place people in front of us. Give us opportunity to uh, to lift people up, to love on people in your name, in Jesus' name, Father. I pray that you just... Um, just bless this whole trip in a mighty way and just do what you want with it, Lord. Um, your will, not our will. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. What's up, everybody? It's the amazing Caleb McCoy II, and uh, we're here at the Canadian border getting ready to run and bike the Pacific Coast Highway to the Mexican border. 
going to be sharing the message of recovery, going to be uh, sharing our experience, strength, and hope, connecting with different people along the way, just trying to inspire and let, let people know that recovery does happen. This is my amazing wife. Hey, it's the amazing Caitlin here. I'm going to be riding along right beside him. And bye. And biking. So uh, we just want to thank our sponsor, Tom Shanahan and Spiritual Adrenaline. Thank you guys for supporting us and believing in us and what we're doing and helping us spread this message of recovery. Tom wrote a book called Spiritual Adrenaline, a lifestyle plan to strengthen and nourish your recovery. Go check it out on Amazon. Thank you guys. Follow us along our journey. Seventy-seven miles to go. Shanahan. Our official sponsor, Spiritual Adrenaline, Tom Shanahan. Love you. Thank you for all the love and support. Yeah, for what you do in the recovery community. It was good. It's just uh, it's really windy, so definitely a big change from what I'm normally used to. But it's all right. It's our first official day on the Pacific Coast Highway. Our first <laughs> official day in clip ends. You know. Uh, we get to this intersection. Caitlin, the light turns red, so she's having to stop. I'm going. On, I'm rolling on through, and I'm watching her get hung up. She can't get out of her clips, and so I'm. I'm like rolling to the stop, thinking I'm like I'll just pop out of here. And so as I'm stopping, I start freaking out because I can't get out of them. You know, typical story of people with clip ends. There's a huge briar right here. I'm on the sidewalk and I'm just watching everybody looking at me, and I just dive over the bank with my bike and everything. So. Bike hung on to him. So like, <laughs> I didn't see, I'm still waiting on the red light. And like, I, I was struggling with my clip on, so I didn't even see none of this happen. I didn't see him, I thought he'd done went on. So I was like getting ready to start pumping it. And then I, I hear someone say, hey, he's sitting down in the ditch. <laughs> I didn't know he'd wreck though, I thought he was just sitting there. Here comes my baby. Up. Yeah. Son of a gun. That was. That's that was uh some beautiful views. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to take my dang sand. It. My Stephen Steen made with love sandwich. That's what she gets for running her lips. Good for now. I need help stretching. Yeah, I, I... Every five minute, baby. Five minute pit stop. Push him, please. Dang, it's freaking hard. You really gotta. I'm just tired, and so now, like. And the heels are hard for me, anyways. Um, I'm still learning my bike, I'm still learning my gears, and. Um, I guess I do it the way I've been doing it makes it a lot harder, but, and then I get in my head and I'm like, I should done, you know, I shouldn't have to stop in the middle of a heel or something. I just wiped out again. Three times today, man. I believe we're going to call today. We got like 60 over my, my, uh. Strava wasn't on one time, and I know we go two miles. I think we're about 67 miles today. Call today. Okay, baby. But see, I don't want to do that because then I feel like it's just... Because I can't freaking... Baby, it's our first day. It's good. So yeah, we're finishing, we're knocking off for today, right around 67 miles.